Komoot. No, that's not it. Commute. No, that's that's still not it. I I can't remember how to pronounce this word. Oh, oh, I know, I know. Komote. It's komote. No, it's not komote. This word is pronounced commute. The o does not make an o sound in this word. The o makes what we call the schwa sound. The schwa sound is a short, lazy, unstressed sound. So it's not an o sound, it's not an a sound, it's not an e sound. It's the schwa sound. It's just lazy. Uh, 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 schwa sound. Commute. So in this video, we're going to look at the word commute. What does it mean, and how do we use it? Commute can be both a noun and a verb. And basically, commute just means to go somewhere. But it's more specific than that. It means to go somewhere again and again and again as part of your daily routine. So it's not about going to the movie theater one time. That's not really commuting. Commuting is going from your home to your office five days per week. Going from your home to your school four days per week. It's when you go to the same place regularly. And like I said, it can be both a noun and a verb. So let's look at some examples. As a noun, we can say, how long is your commute? Your commute means the time it takes you to get from your home to your school or to your office. So to answer, you could say, my commute is 20 minutes each way. It takes me 20 minutes to get to work and it takes me 20 minutes to get home. My total daily commute is 40 minutes. So here, commute is a noun. It can also be a verb. For example, do you like to commute? No, I don't. I prefer to work from home. Or another example, she commutes to work by train. You could really just say she goes to work by train, she gets to work by train, but she commutes to work by train is also correct. Um, so yeah, commute can be a noun and it can be a verb. We're talking about going to the same place regularly.